Hi, I'm James Thorstensen from Viking Technology Solutions here in a customer's server and telecommunications room. As you can tell, it's not the tidiest place, but that's why we're here today. We're going to be performing a tone test label and network relocation. What the customer wants is this half of the room, all the equipment moved over to this rack to my right. So what that's going to involve is, and the guys are out there working on this now, is identifying each of these lines that are active and the ones that are inactive that may have been cut during a renovation or perhaps the faceplate on the wall was covered up. So what we're going to do is identify all the active lines and re-terminate them into this rack by extending them with a Leviton 110 block on the wall behind this open relay. So we're going to do a little bit of a time lapse video showing the project and also some before and after photos showing this pile of spaghetti turning into an easily identifiable uh, network topology. So enjoy. Well, this project's just getting wrapped up. We got a little less video than we thought we might, but we ran into a few quandaries in the process that kind of had us up against the clock to get this office opened up for Monday morning. But we achieved the result. The cabling that was all here in that spaghetti monster of an open relay rack, 66 block, and biscuit jacks on the wall, they've all been deleted. We removed a bunch of cable, probably about 90 or so Cat 5e cables, but we ended up re-terminating about 87 uh, Cat6 and Cat5e cables into these Leviton 110 blocks and extending them into this server rack. So the goal of the project, of course, was to make this room look aesthetically a little bit better, and I, I think we did that. Uh, but the primary reason was to label and identify all of the active uh, cabling throughout the building. So now, in any office, and there's about 50 offices here, it's about a 20,000 square foot space, in all of the offices where they plug in a phone or a computer, there's now a label on that faceplate. And that label corresponds to its location inside this server rack. So never again 
does a technician need to spend time troubleshooting where is this cable if they're plugging in a new computer, a phone, or TV. So we're really happy with how this job turned out. Thanks for watching the video.